so. Starting off his day, this is a key matchup. Then we see the elevated numbers with the home run, 12 on the year. Two hopper right to the shortstop. That's a good start. Routine out to get their dangerous power hitting leadoff guy. Let's look at the defense behind. Handling Patrick Corbin today, and here's Andy Ibanez. He's up there swinging, and this one tailing toward the right field line. Lane Thomas, not a problem. Played to right-handers especially. And as usual, Mark Canna has been on base for and Mark's been playing a lot in the field lately. Great. Perfect. Fastball down. Baseball. And a high chopper. Abrams to his left and off the glove. Ball had some pace on it, but he got there. Game for me is going to be playing clean defense behind him. This one, yes, it kicks up, but that's what the C.J. Abrams got to get, come up with. Especially being the shortstop, setting the tone. Atlanta for a week, and home cooking sure. Corbin handled him well. Nats won the game 5-2. Runner on the move, pitches a strike. Throw is on target, but late. And a breaking ball, had him lunging for it. Two hopper, Garcia. Back to Corbin, pitches around that two out, whatever it was, and we are top scoreless. of the second, Eddie Rosario. Guys, cough for that. And this one, high to left side, into foul ground, Gio Urshela. Four up, four down for my Vanessa so far. Since replacing Joey Gallo Monday nights had a really nice series. It'll continue on that swing. He'll bang it off the left field wall, digging for a couple. And Joey Manessas in standing up. He's now four for six against the Tigers. Two for this nine with one batted in in this. He'll pull it on the ground, which is where they had the infield position. And, and Manessas to third, two outs. And more drives over shortstop. So a two out spot for Cecil tomorrow's first AB of the series. What did it end up being? Vargas fight. And a tapper. In and to his right, Ibanez. Quick release, and that's it for the Nats. Joey Manessas continues to swing the bat well. Washington stranding its first run. And Rogers has faced Corbin before. There's a tapper third base side as the sun comes out now. And Rodgers rolls one to short. Abrams, Garcia. The opportunity presented itself, and the Nets take care of it with double play number 65. Two on, nobody out. Not a problem for Patrick Corbin. Tuesday, he was in the lineup. He's going to try to bunt for a hit. Here comes Vargas, bare hand. He did all he could. Perfect bunt, and the Tigers have their second base hit. There was a walk and a hit batter in there. And Drew Mill like to get some things moving. Runner is holding, and this one flared to right, to his right, Lane Thomas. And then Ansel left early. Not so much against righties. Runner goes. Great stop. Abrams, can he get him? Safe at first. What a play. But he did. Like in Cleveland. Backhand side on the grass. This one on the dirt. Watch him kind of catch right there. Good recovery. Good strong arm. But watches his body. Hits. Everything kind of just goes over the top of it. Unbelievable That's job by going seat. out to the outfield. Right. Oh, he already has an infield hit today. I feel right. One ball, one strike. Good jam. It. One and two now. And this one out to left center. Ball falling. They're going to send the runner who got a great read from second base. And the Tigers take the lead with Kreidler scoring. Knowing exactly what to do with one out, go halfway. Watch as he does. He goes, extends, extends. He's like, no one's going to get it. I'm going to go. What a read by him. Good throw by Jesse Winker. Wheeler doing his homework, knowing exactly where everyone is. Long innings. 
And 24 pitches in this inning alone now. And that one drops in. Outfield. Other than Young, about two steps toward left center. Pretty straight away. Same up on the infield. Corbin with a challenge heater gets the foul ball. Issues for Patrick last couple of years getting two strikes and finding some way to put a hitter away. Doesn't want it to go 3 2 here. And really, for the most part, he has laid off that pitch right there as far as more middle of the plate. A lot of plate on that. He's been corners, he's been down, he's been up. Staying off the sweet spot. Line drive, foul. I mean, if they wanted to, if, if they wanted to really get out of this inning right now, all Patrick needs to do is Lift the right leg. Joey Manessa's break towards first base. They can backpick anybody at first base. It is absolutely, there's no one paying attention to the first baseman. There's no way they get back. That's Rochella over there. Swing and a miss on a sword. And Patrick Corbin gets out of the inning. Tigers score a run, but it's a high pitch count inning that could affect the latter part of this game. For now, Nats only down a run. Be done. Well, Beverly Hills cop years, years ago. There's a rocket. That ball was going foul, and it was caught by Mark Canna in their last inning, but there were two out. And then Jesse Wick mm. pitch up, and Louie likes it up. Yeah. And that's exactly where he puts it. Joey Manessas will make the turn and head for third. So Luis Garcia gets out in front of one, and suddenly the tying run 90 feet. A little splitter. Not down, this more up. So, starting off his and day, knowing that he not a good outfield arm, arm in Wenzel Perez, 12 on the year. Two hop, right field. Veerling's got to be pushed back a little bit. Ooh, good swing. Yeah. His game. Whoa, that thing really give yourself a chance for Louie. There he goes. And Vargas gets the bat on the ball. Again, with authority the other way. Joey Manessas can trot home, and Garcia has to hustle back to first. Ill tomorrow. Right there. There's Drew Millis. And now Garcia running. That's a bullet. And that's an out at second. It did skip. Really good pick by Kreidler, the shortstop. And Luis Garcia's. Patrick Cor Jake Rogers and that's one of the good look this one slapped out to center Jacob Young cruising to it well after a busy first night there's Ryan Kreidler center fielder over right and left right one run That ball laced to left, but there's a guy there. It's Jesse Winker out in the gap. Patrick Corbin gets the one, two, three. So after it was his teammates in the fourth. Yeah. Hooking and well foul. And this one slicing down the left field line. 
moving away and right to the barrier. And dealing with that barrier and the screen, Riley Green all hung up over there. Check the kids. Velcro wall wasn't stuck. Good effort by Riley Green on this one. The ultimate fan. The last night when the Nash 2009 reaching 100 that fast. And this one a mile high. Left side. Gio Grishella. And the Nets go one, two, three. Top of the fifth is over. Halfway through this. That's Corbin. Well, that would be huge for him. This is well out of play. Runner with a bit of a lean. Corbin had him moving backwards, and that's a great take by. One ball, two strikes. Took a little bit off. Vargas. Garcia. And the Nets. A couple of long throws go around the horn. Earlier today with Emil Jimenez. And that's. So here it is, up and away right here. The Jake Rogers is going to steal the strike. Is it a strike? Questionable at best. Now back live, and Jesse Winker, a grounder to the right side. And now a first pitch pop up by Eddie Rosario. And an inning where we had high hopes with 2 3 4 coming up. Ends in a hurry. Lane Thomas Awful. gone for the rest of this game. Donate $50 to Children's in NIH for every Nationals pitcher strikeout. Well, the Lane Thomas ejection sets off a chain reaction on defense. We'll get you updated here in a moment. Patrick to Riley Green, bottom six. And this one towering to center. Young keeps going with it, with it, with it, and catches it on the track. That ball carried 400 feet by the time it came down. I think this is the ultimate drift right here. <laughs> he thought it was. That one goes cutting. They're on their way to an extra inning win. The left and Jesse Winker from left to right. Strike one to Justin Henry Malloy. So Corbin a run on four hits, walk two, hit two. But two double play balls made up for a lot of that. And four strikeouts. And that ball is absolutely destroyed. Oh my. That's Malloy's second. Tigers lead 2 1. Perfect example. Hanging slider right here, top of the zone. Elevate to celebrate for Malloy. 108 off the bat, 407. Go on the distance. Second big league homer. Yeah. Ninth game, second blast. Wow. Oh, that noise. Even on tape. Winsell Perez, the hitter. And this one slapped out in the left center. Rushing in. Ildemaro Vargas has it, but the Tigers take the lead. Home run number two by Justin Henry Malloy. A monstrous shot to left. 
And now the Nats have to come from behind again. One of them being a walk-off. One of the first round picks, Bob, that the Padres did not trade away. To Ildemaro Vargas. Since strikeout rate. Years ago. Top a rock. Zone. Glover. High top spin. That's a fair ball. Joey Manessas. This will be his third double of the series. He's going to round the back big as that thing kept rolling and rolling all the way down to that deep corner at 342. So, Joey, Weiss. it's just a straight push for me. Mm -hmm. That's a high fly ball to center. Challenge. Veerling's a good outfielder. Manessa's going to put his head down and run and go in sliding. Productive out by Luis Garcia. Vargas. Such a different configuration, too, here with Kreidler. Kreidler over it. And oh Vargas will lift one to right. Certainly deep enough. Flirting with a home run for a moment. And now the Nets have six sacrifice flies in this three game series. We are tied at two. Drew Millis, the hitter. And that. Second time in this series. That is up in the zone. And Millis will get jammed into a pop up to left. That's green. Riley Green has it, but Joey Manessis they gets He's it up. in left field now. And here we go, bottom seven. To but sure enough, I mean, that, that spot, the lane. Good news is Nick Senzel has been swinging it well lately. This one down to third for Senzel, and he's got a rocket for an arm. One out, bottom seven. Ryan Kreidler with a bunt. Big Garcia tried to time it. Looked like he did pretty well, just too tall. And Ryan Garcia Kreidler has his first two hits of the season in this game today. Great on that 5 4 3 double play ball, ending the fifth inning. Beerling gets jammed, and that's trouble. Hmm. Pretty easy read for Kreidler from his angle at first, and he's standing on third base now. Play on this one. Has Senzel well back. Not anymore. And that is through up the middle. Tigers have retaken the lead. And digging for two is Ibanez. A ground ball double. To Driven a run home today. Off the end of the bat out to center. Young's got a good arm. Veerling, good speed. Ball cut off. Everybody safe. And it's 4 2. Shea and Riley Green. High fastball is. It was his ability to get it. Infield dirt flying around. That's well placed. And it's 5 2 Detroit. All three of these. There is 0 for 3 today. And that's. Like he went, almost two strikes. I mean, there's some damage for you. Manessas to Barnes, and the seventh is over. But the Tigers drop five on the Nats, and with six outs with which to work, that'd be the comeback of the year on the road. First already. Yeah, right. You can go back and challenge. It. Oh, strike out. Couple of grounders. That's a front door break. And this one short right field. Ibanez has a good angle on it. And the Nats with a walk go quietly. Right on the hands and over the dugout. And he keeps pumping strikes. Everything's in quality so far. And this one playable. Vargas in left and after back he's now in. Need plans for the 4th of July. And breaking ball stays the road as a big leaguer this year. 
Trying to get to that one away and could not get there. No backup slider. I mean, this thing just stays way Runs. away. You see it. One for two career against Chafin. Zero. No way to reach those. Same thing, two inches. Joey just looked out there like, what is that? He looked back. I mean, he's not looking at the scoreboard. He's just looking out there like, I don't know what. And you got to take care of business at home against the Marlins. Like they. Two balls, two strikes. Two quality at bat just to end it here. And a swing and a miss, and Chapin strikes out the side. So the Nats are done in this one. Nip and tuck ball game for the first six and a half innings. The Nats had to come from behind to tie it. But that five run 